Okay, good morning or good afternoon to all our viewers, either watching live or watching the replay. My name is Felix. Welcome to another week of Yoga with Felix. I am the PSP Fitness and Sports staff located in Kesto in Belgium. Thank you so much for joining us for our weekly yoga session. The intent of today's session is going to increase our lower body muscle endurance and also improve our hip flexibility and mobility. Therefore, today's session, we will go through a warrior uh, pose and flow. So if at any time during today's session, you're experiencing any kinds of pains or injury, either in your hip, in your lumbar spine, in your neck or in your shoulder area, please be mindful of your bodies. I'm not able to see what you're doing, so please listen to the uh, points and the, um, um, the, the pointers I'm going to say throughout the class. And if there's any pain or large discomfort throughout any of the body, please don't be afraid to come out of those poses and simply assume a more comfortable position, such as an easy pose, or Balasana Child's Pose while we work through our sequence. Um, in terms of equipment, you will need your yoga mats, maybe a few blocks if you have them, and also make sure you have your water bottle filled and ready for you when you're ready to uh, join today's session. So, we will get started with our grounding first and foremost. So I invite you all to sit down on your bolsters, on your mats, or on a yoga block. The intent here is to slowly start to activate our postural muscles. It will be needing for today's session. So you can sit in a cross leg position and pretend like you have a string that is hanging from the top of your head and someone is coming to pull on that string to make you as tall as possible. So the chest comes up, the shoulders are low and away from the ears, the chin is in, and lastly, place your hands in the most comfortable position for you today. That could mean palms up in the receiving position, that could mean palms together, hands to heart. And finally, you can either close the eyes or you can choose to keep them slightly open, gazing at the front of your mats, about one meter away in front of you. So let's just take a brief moment here to focus on our inhale, feeling the air come into the nostrils, filling out the lungs, and gently exhaling. Okay, this is just a quick moment to bring some awareness to your breath, bring some awareness to your posture and to your joints, and prepare yourself both physically and mentally for today's session. Okay, this is a great moment to set an intention for today. Depending on how you're feeling, how your day, or how your morning has been going on, take some time to set your intention for today's practice. It would be, it will be a lot of endurance and difficult poses for the lower body. We might feel some burning in the legs. We might see some shaking in the legs. Depending on how you're feeling today, you can choose to push through that, get a little bit more out of the session, or simply respect yourself, respect what your body can give to you today, and come out of the poses whenever you feel the need to. Okay, and as you continue to bring your awareness inwards, let's start by bringing the right ear to the right shoulder, and actively lowering the left shoulder 
away from the left ear, breathing through this nice stretch on the left side. And moving on to the left side, bringing the left ear to the left shoulder and actively lowering the right shoulder away from the ear. Let's do that one more time, over towards the right. Really try to bring your ear down and actively lower the left shoulder. Increase the distance between your ear and your shoulder and over to the left side just breathe normally here you can either keep the eyes closed or keep them gently open looking at the front of your mats and bring the head back to neutral we're going to inhale close the mouth bring the chest and the chin up Exhale, bring the chin down to the chest. Inhale up, close the mouth, inhale by the nose. And exhale, chin down. Okay, bring the head back to a neutral position. We're going to place the fingertips on top of our shoulders. And let's do three large backward circles, trying to trace the largest circles that we can. Warming up those shoulders, getting some activation and movement in those shoulders. Trying to see if we can bring the elbows touching in front of the body. Bring the shoulders all the way back, opening up that chest. Continuing to doing three in the opposite direction. Do them with purpose controlled and really trying to maximize each and every movement trying to bring the elbows all the way in front touching each other bring the arms out to the side okay we're going to inhale right with the right arm up we're going to exhale, place the right arm on top of the left knee and twist over towards the left. We're going to hold here for a few breaths. Make sure you're keeping your left shoulder low and away from the ear. Every time you inhale, you're going to try to get a little bit more height in your posture. And every time you exhale, Try to twist a little bit more towards the left. Just waking up the spine, seeing what our spine can give to us today. And exhale, bring it back. This time, left arm, inhale up. Exhale, place the left arm on top of the right knee, twist to the right. Two sides may feel slightly different, and that's totally okay. We're not here to judge what our bodies can or cannot give to us today. We're simply moving through the movement without judgment. Keep your right shoulder low away from the ear, and every time you exhale, try to twist a little bit more in the spine. Okay, and on your next exhale, you're going to bring it back to center. Let's extend both legs out to the front of our mats. If you're sitting on a bolster or on a block, I invite you to remove the prop. But you're sitting down as such. Now we're going to warm up the entire body and especially warm up and wake up the posterior chain. So sitting down with your knees slightly bent, with your toes pointed up towards the ceiling, I want you to inhale forward, reach forward, and as you exhale, you're going to row your boat, go as far back as you can, while keeping your balance, engaging your abdominals and your hips, and on your own pace, you're going to inhale forward, exhale, pull. Inhale forward, 
Exhale, pull. Inhale, forward. Exhale, pull. We'll do a few more. Bring your hands up this time. Reach up. Inhale. Pull. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, pull. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, pull. A little bit quicker now. Inhale up. Pull. Inhale up. Pull. One more time. Inhale up. And pull. Okay, we're going to meet in the downward or in the um, uh, tabletop position now. So make sure you're still facing the front of your mat. Your hands are underneath your shoulders. Your knees are underneath your hips. And from this position, we're going to inhale, arch the lower back, look up or forward. And you're going to exhale into your cat position. Inhale, arch the lower back. Exhale into the cat position. So on your own pace now, you're going to continue moving through these two movements, ensuring that you're really holding each position and doing, doing it consciously while thinking of the right muscle groups in both ends. Few more rounds here. As we're warming up the spine for today's session, you can see if you can go a little bit deeper into both extended and flexed spinal positions. And bring it back to neutral, making sure your hands are shoulder width apart. You're going to spread the fingertips and we're going to meet in our first downward facing dog of the day. So you're going to bend your knees as much as you need to. You're going to bring the hips up towards the sky. You're going to make sure you're stable in your shoulders, pressing the ground away, keeping your back straight, all the way from your head, through your upper back, through your lower back. And here, since it's our first one of the day, I want you to play around with it a little bit. Try to put one heel down. Try to place the other heel down. Walk your dog. Press the ground away. You can do a little side to side stretch. Really observe how your body's feeling right now. How your shoulders, wrists, spine, neck, legs, Knees, ankles are feeling. And just keep on breathing normally here. Okay, you're going to look to the front of your mat and you're going to slowly walk your feet all the way to the front of your mat into your forward fold. So you can check that your feet are hip width apart now. You can enjoy this nice forward standing fold. You can interlace and grab the opposite elbows and just gently move side to side here. Extending the hamstrings. Enjoying a nice stretch from the lower back to the hamstrings to maybe the calves. And you can release the elbows and gently vertebra by vertebra come all the way up until you're in your mountain pose standing with your feet hip width apart your palms are forward we're going to do a few rounds of sun salutations here so I invite you all to place your hands together, 
Bring your hands to heart. Let's take one deep breath before we get going here. Big inhale. Big exhale. As we move through our first sun salutation, we're going to really own each of the 12 positions. We're going to walk through where we're supposed to feel the stretch. We're going to make sure that we're doing it properly, everyone together the first time, and then we'll go slightly quicker for the second and third rounds here as we become a bit more used to it and our body's going to be a little bit more warmed up and opened up as well. Hands to heart, inhale, arms up, look up towards the sky, slight arch in the lower back, exhale, look down, place your hands in line with your feet, into a forward fold, you're going to take a big step back with the right leg, Get all the way back, drop the right knee on the ground, and come up with the hands into your low lunge position on the right. <clears throat> So here you're going to have to focus on your balance, try not to fall down, and I want you to look down at your left knee to make sure that it is over your left ankle and that your knee isn't falling inwards. So you're reaching the arms up, not allowing that knee to fall inwards, and that will be true for the other positions that we're going to hold today as well. And from your low lunge position, you're going to place the hands down and you're going to kick the left leg back into your downward facing dog. Do a few breaths here. Walk your dog. Right foot down, left foot down. Right foot down, left foot down. Look forward, drop the knees first to the ground. Drop the chin and chest and come up into your first cobra of the day. For your first cobra, you can play around with the width of your feet. And I want you to also play around with your hands on the ground. They can be directly under the shoulders. They can be slightly forward. Play around with it. Be mindful of your lower back if you have any injuries there. Drop the chest to the floor, place the hands under the shoulders. You're going to go all the way up, back into your downward facing dog position. You're going to look forward, you're going to bring the right foot to the front of your mat. Drop the left knee on the ground and come up into your low lunge on the left side. Again, make sure your knees over your ankle, your knees are falling inwards and you're really reaching up those fingertips towards the sky, allowing the left hip to open up and to relax while keeping your balance. Place both hands on the ground. The left foot comes to the front of your mat. And you're going to inhale all the way up, arms all the way up, and exhale, hands to heart. Do one full breath here before we do the other side. Big inhale. Big exhale. Inhale, arms up towards the sky. Exhale, hands and fingers in line with the toes. Enjoy a nice forward body fold here. You can move around side to side. Bend the knees as much as you need to. Now you're going to kick the left leg all the way back. Drop the left knee on the ground. Come up into your low lunge. Okay, if you want to go a little bit deeper into your low lunge, while keeping your knee aligned, you can bring the hips forward and down, trying to extend that left hip, allowing it and the hip flexor to open up and to stretch out. Bring both hands down, in line with your toes, kick back into downward facing dog. From here, look to the front of your mat, drop the knees down, 
Bring the chin and chest down to the mat. Bring it up to your cobra. Inhale up. In your cobra. Again, be mindful of your back. And contract your glutes, muscles, and the lower back to bring the chest up off the ground. Into a back bend position. Bring the chest back down. Hands under your shoulders. Kick up to downward facing dog. Look to the front of your mat. Bring your left foot to the front. In line with your toes. Drop the right knee on the ground. Inhale up to your low lunge position. From your low lunge position, if you can, bring your hips slightly forward and down, allowing your right hip this time to open up. You can choose to do so as well. Bring both hands down in line with your toes. Bring the right foot to the front of your mat. You can enjoy a nice side to side movement here. And inhale, arms all the way up. And exhale, hands to heart. Now that we know the sequence and we've practiced it once per side, we're going to move through our sun salutation a little bit quicker now. Maybe spending one more breath in our downward facing dog. So let's all bring our hands to heart into mountain pose. Big inhale before we get going here into the nostrils. Exhale. Now inhale, arms up, reach up. Exhale, arms all the way down in line with the toes. Keep the right leg back, drop the right knee. Inhale, low lunge. Exhale, downward facing dog. Let's do one full breath here. Exhale, drop the knees down, chin, chest, inhale up, cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Bring the right foot to the front of your mat, drop the left knee, inhale, low lunge. Exhale, drop the hand, bring the back foot to the front. Inhale, go all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart. One full breath here. Second one on the other side. Inhale, arms up. Arch the lower back. Exhale, fingers and toes in line. Take the left leg back, drop the left knee. Inhale, low lunge. Exhale, downward facing dog. One full breath here. Look to the front of your mat. Exhale down, drop the knees, chin, chest. Inhale up, cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Bring the left foot to the front of your mat. Drop the right knee, inhale, low lunge. Exhale, hands down. Foot comes to the front of the mat. Inhale, all the way up. And exhale, hands to heart. Let's do that one last time, a little bit quicker now. Let's take one full breath to ground ourselves, feet hip width apart. Feel yourself grounded at the front of your mat. Hands in the prayer position. Here we go. Inhale up. Exhale down, bring the right foot back, drop the knee, inhale, low lunge. Exhale, downward facing dog, drop the knees, chin, chest, inhale up, cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog, bring the right foot to the front, inhale, low lunge. Exhale, the back foot comes forward. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart. One full breath so everyone can catch up here. Here we go, final time on the left side. Inhale, up. 
Exhale, down. Left leg goes back. Inhale, low lunge. Exhale, downward facing dog. Drop the knees, chin, chest. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Bring the left foot to the front. Inhale, low lunge. Exhale, the foot comes to the front of your mat. Inhale, arms all the way up. And exhale, hands to heart. Well done. Okay, you can get some water now. And we'll go forward with our first warrior flow of the day. That's where we're going to need all our focus and concentration and endurance in our legs now that we're nice and warmed up. So grab your waters. And when you are ready, we're going to start at the front of our mat here. So with your feet hip width apart, Let's do the right side first. We're going to take a big step back, this time on our feet, with the right leg all the way back. We're going to bring both arms up into our crescent lunge position. For a crescent lunge position here, look down, make sure your knee is over your ankle. You can see your toes and be strong in the back leg. Try not to leave that back leg bent, but extend that leg, opening up the hip on the right side, reaching the arms up towards the sky, being strong in our crescent lunge. Remember to breathe deeply here, in through the nostrils, and find your balance and your stability in these difficult positions. From crescent lunge, we're going to transition to warrior one. The only thing that is moving is the back heel is now down on your mat and your back foot is at a 45 degree angle towards the front and you're still reaching those fingertips up towards the sky and you're trying to keep your hips squared towards the front of your mat. Be strong in your warrior pose. See if you can go a little bit deeper, bending into that front knee. From warrior one, transition to warrior two. Warrior two, you're extending the fingertips to the front and to the back of your mat, trying to keep those arms parallel to the ground, palms down, and you're gazing over the middle finger of your left hand, Gazing towards the front. Look down one more time. Make sure your left knee isn't caving in. So push that knee out as much as you possibly can. From warrior two, place the palm up in the left hand. Inhale to reverse warrior. From reverse warrior, you can also do the peaceful warrior where you're placing the right arm to the back as high up between those shoulder blades as possible. You're gazing up again to the middle finger of the left hand. Keep pressing the knee to the exterior, engaging your glutes. Keep the back leg strong here. And from reverse warrior, place the left elbow down on top of your knee first. Reach the right arm up first, open up the hips, gaze up towards the sky, and on your next exhale, allow the right arm to fall, and bring your right bicep as close as you can toward that right ear. Continue to gaze up towards the ceiling, keeping the back leg strong, and if you're falling forward, open up the chest and the heart towards the sky. Be strong in your lower body. Even though it might be burning here, one more breath. Be strong, be stable. Inhale, back 
to your reverse warrior. We're almost done here. Big inhale. Exhale, straighten out that leg that's working, that's burning. And now from here, we're going to complete or assume the triangle pose or trikonasana. If you have a block, this could be useful here. So we're feet now, we're resting a little bit, that's okay. The left foot is pointing forward. The back leg is at 45 degrees. With both legs straight, I'm going to extend my hands back into my warrior two pose, gazing to the left hand, the middle finger. For Trikonasana, I invite you to try to reach that left arm as far forward, as far over your toes as you can, keeping your left leg completely straight and enjoying a nice hamstring stretch. And when you're ready, you can place your left hand down on top of your tibia and reach the right arm up or if you have a block you can place the hand down on the block on the inside of your left foot and the idea here is to keep both arms in line perpendicular to the ground gazing up towards the sky and enjoying a nice opening in the hamstring on the left Big rotation in the spine, opening up the shoulder as much as possible and finding your balance here in this Trikonasana pose. And remember, for all these yoga positions, you have to have stability and you have to have enjoyment or pleasure. So find your breath, find your stability, and finally to come out, you can gently come out of it. You can place both hands down to the front of your mat, kick the left leg back into downward facing dog. You're going to drop the knees down, chin, chest into cobra, inhale up. And you're going to exhale into balasana or child's pose. So for this one, enjoy a few breaths of relaxation before you do the other side. Drop the heels down, extend the arms forward. And enjoy a few breaths if you want to get some water. Now would be a great time for that. Let's do the opposite side now. So from Balasana, you're going to come up into your downward facing dog. Okay, and from downward facing dog, you're going to bring the right foot to the front of your mat, and you're going to come up into your crescent lunge. Now the right foot is in front, left leg is back. Try to extend that leg, be strong in your left quad. Open up that hip that's been opened up and that's been warmed up with their previous flow. Reach the fingertips up toward the sky. Take a look down at your foot. Can you see your toes? Is your knee in line with your toes or is your knee falling inwards here? Look forward. Find the balance, find the strength, and activate those muscles. From crescent lunge, transition to warrior one. Only the back foot, the heel is placed down at a 45 degree angle. You're still reaching the fingertips up toward the sky, being strong in your back leg as much as possible here. If you can bend into that front knee a little bit more, to get a little bit more out of it, I invite you to do so. Transition to warrior two. A little bit easier for the hips here. Keep on making sure your knees in line with your toes, not falling inwards. Both your hands are parallel to the ground. You're gazing forward over your middle finger on the right. 
strong. Continue to push that right knee out, activating your glutes, opening up the hips here. Breathe deeply, breathe with meaning. Inhale, reverse your warrior. So bring the right fingertips up toward the sky, the left arm on the back leg, and you can do your peaceful warrior. Bring your left hand in between those shoulder blades. Reach those fingertips up toward the sky. Keep on bending into that front knee, opening up the hips. Be strong, be stable. On your exhale, bring the right elbow on top of your right knee. Bring the left arm up toward the sky. Big inhale here. And exhale, side angle pose. Bring the left bicep to the left ear. Here, continue to gaze up toward the sky. Press that knee out. And if your chest is falling inwards, open up that chest toward the sky. Keep on pushing those hips open by squeezing the left glutes. Inhale, up, peaceful warrior. With that right leg is burning now, but we're almost there. Exhale, come out of it. Straighten up both legs. If you have a block, now is a good time to use it. And I can demonstrate that. So if you have a block or you bolster or something, you can place it on the inside of the right foot. This time with both legs locked again, hands in your warrior two position. Gaze over top of the right middle finger. You're going to reach as far forward as you can until you get a nice stretch in the hamstring. And once you're ready, place the right arm down, either on a block or on your shin, straight down in a perpendicular position, and reach the left arm up towards the sky into your triangle pose, Trikonasana, and try to have both arms into a straight line, into your perpendicular line with the floor. Gaze up towards the sky, Continue to be strong here. Find the balance. Find your concentration. Open up the chest of the sky. One more deep breath here. And on your exhale, bring both arms down to the front of your mat. Downward facing dog. Knees down, chin chest, inhale, cobra. And exhale into your child's pose. Good. Get some water here if you want. If not, Continue to assume the child's pose position. Enjoy a nice restful position for the legs. The lower back is fully relaxed and stretching out as well, which is great. Let's go here for a final difficult flow before we start cooling off the body. So from your child's pose position, meet back up into downward facing dog. Bring the left foot to the front of your mat in line with your toes. And let's inhale into crescent lunge. Final time on this side. Few reminders, back leg as straight as you can, knee out, go into your crescent lunge. Transition, warrior number one. Place the back heel down, point the toe out 45 degrees. Keep 
keep your balance here. Transition, warrior number two. Bend into that front leg. Reach out the arms to the front and to the back of your mat here. Very well, inhale, reverse your warrior, reach the left arm up toward the sky, place the back, place the right arm back between those shoulder blades. On your next exhale, elbow down, inhale up, reach the right arm up, and exhale, right ear, right elbow to the right ear, into your side angle pose. Inhale, reverse your warrior. You're strong in that leg. I know it's burning. Let's do one final deep breath here together. And as you exhale, straighten out that leg. And now I want you to point both feet to the side of your mat. So both feet are wide and they're pointing in the same direction. And then you're going to extend the arms out to the side, making sure your feet are not wider than your, your hands are not wider than your feet. And on your next exhale, we're going to transition into our wide-legged forward fold. So here, you have a few options. You can place both hands down if you can, you can place both elbows down and even place the forehead down on the mat, depending on your mobility here. But we're going to enjoy a nice relaxing pose for the quadricep here. You can interlace the hands, grab the opposite elbows, and just allow your whole body weight to come down to a small ball. And you can gently, slowly move your upper body over towards the right and over towards the left. Okay, you can place both hands back down on the mat and slowly start to bring the feet back together. Come all the way up. With the feet now slightly wider than your shoulders and both feet pointed out about 45 degrees, we're going to go into our goddess pose. So place your hands to heart, prayer position, and you're going to squat down here. And you're going to squat as low as you can but making sure your knees aren't caving in. So if you're too wide, you can place your feet slightly closer together, hands to heart, and we're going to inhale into full goddess. So retract the shoulder blades, point the fingertips up toward the sky, sit as low as you can, and now push those knees out as much as you can, being strong from the base of your feet, strong arch, in the feet, push, push the knees out, retract the shoulder blades, legs are burning here, breathe in, exhale, slightly lower, one more breath here, breathe in, exhale, come up, out of your goddess pose, both hands back to the front of your mat, kick back into downward facing dog, Drop the knees down, chin, chest, inhale up, cobra, and exhale into your child's pose. Well done. Enjoy a few more breaths here, allowing the legs to recover a little bit. Recover your breath. Fully commit to your child's pose. Great restorative position here. 
The health lowers stress and anxiety and feel ourselves grounded. Take some water if you need to. Okay, and let's finish strong here. Final one on the opposite side now. So from child's pose, come up into your downward facing dog. Bring the right foot to the front of your mat. Come up, let's go. Crescent lunge. Keep your knee in line and tell yourself, I am strong, I am stable, and I can do this. From your crescent lunge, transition to warrior one by just placing the back heel down, foot is angled out. Keep the right knee in line with the toes. Inhale here, reach up, exhale. Reach the fingertips to the front of your mat into your warrior two pose. Both hands are parallel to the ground. Inhale. Exhale, reverse your warrior, reach the right fingertips up toward the sky, retract and place the left hand between the shoulder blades. Come a little bit lower if you can, be strong in that right foot. Big inhale here. Exhale, right elbow down, inhale, left arm up. And exhale, bring the left bicep to the right ear. Keep gazing up towards the sky. Lengthen your whole left side here. Find your stability. <sighs> Inhale, up, back into your peaceful warrior here. One more deep breath before we give it a nice rest of that right leg. Inhale, exhale, extend that leg. Point both feet to the side of your mat. Both are pointing in the same direction. And now we're going to inhale the arms up and exhale, forward fold. Okay, if you can, you can place the feet slightly wider here. Keep both legs strong and locked and come and place the hands down, maybe the elbows down. And if you can, you can place the forehead down on the mat in front of you. If not, that's totally okay. You're staying up with me. And now you can place both hands down. And you can try to walk the hands over towards the left foot and then walk the hands over towards the right foot and then hang out in the middle allowing your quads to rest up as we open up our hips and our hamstrings and i'll bring the hands back to the middle start to gently walk your feet back Ooh, come up and now finally with your feet slightly wider than usual for your squat we're going to place the hands down into prayer position we're going to inhale and we're going to exhale and drop into our goddess pose go as low as you can and now place the hands Retract the shoulder blades, spread the fingertips. Big inhales here. I know it's not an easy position. Our legs are burning. It's not easy. Inhale, exhale, try to drop a little bit lower. One final breath here, inhale. Try to drop a little bit lower as you exhale. Push the knees out, inhale, and come all the way up. Okay, bring the feet back, shoulder width apart, 
Wind the toes out about 15 to 20 degrees. And let's sit into Malasana, or Yogi Squat. So when you're ready, you can exhale. And I want you to come all the way down into Malasana. This is a great and a big hip opener. And I want you to be able to relax your Malasana. So if you can place your heels down, you can simply come up on top of the toes and sit in a more relaxed manner here. The legs might burn a little bit from before, but it's certainly not a squat that we're holding. And let's just start our cool down here in Malasana. We can either hold it and with the help of our elbows, push the knees out. We can just gently rock if we want. This is your cool down here. Let's start here. And from Malasana, we're going to place both hands down on your mat. Reach up into your downward facing dog. And from downward facing dog, Kick the right leg up just quickly into a three-legged dog. Reach up and exhale. Bring the right knee down to the mat in front of your right hand. Cross the right heel over towards the left. And we're reaching and meeting into pigeon pose. So for pigeon pose here, we're enjoying a nice stretch in the right glute. So if you have any pain in the knee, you can come out of it and simply do your figure four, which is this one here. Also a great stretch for the glute. If you're having any pain in the right knee, and if you have no pain in the right knee, you can stay in pigeon here. Ooh, and you can place hands down, you can place your elbows down, and if you can, you can also place the forehead all the way down on the mat. And just breathe here through the pigeon stretch on the right. You can thank yourself and thank your body for being able to go through these difficult asanas or postures. Come up, meet back quickly into downward facing dog, stretch out that right side. Now kick the left leg up quickly, reach up into your three-legged dog and exhale, left elbow, left knee. Walk back into your pigeon pose on the left. Drop the elbows down. And then if you can, you can drop the forehead all the way down on your mat. Stretch out that left side now. Okay, drop the knees down. Come up into your tabletop position. Reach with the right arm up towards the sky. Exhale, thread the needle towards the left as far as you can. And then place the right shoulder down on the mat. And now with the left arm, you're going to reach that left arm back into our threading the needle pose on the right. Try to open up your chest towards the sky 
lower the left shoulder, and you can push into the ground with the right arm to try and rotate a little bit more over towards the left. Remember to continue breathing normally here as we're cooling down. What we don't want to do is hold our breath. Okay, place the left arm back down. Come up, other side, inhale, left arm up. And exhale over towards the right. Reach out first, then place the back of the left shoulder on the ground. Place the head in a comfortable position and reach the right arm to the back. Again, try to push into that left arm, into the crown, allowing yourself to twist more and bring the sternum up towards the sky. Okay, place the right arm back down and come up. We're going to move sideways on our mat into the frog position, opening up and relaxing the hips. So to bring your knees as far apart as you can, place the inside of your feet down on the ground. Make sure your uh, ankles are in line with your knees. You can come down on your elbows, look down to your hands, and then start to gently move the hips back not too far, just until you find that sweet spot where you can enjoy the opening of the hip. So we're not looking for pain here, we're just looking for a slight feeling of discomfort, opening up those hips. And once you find that position, you can just close the eyes, bring your awareness inside, focus on your breath. Extend the feet to the front of your mat. We're going to lay all the way down into Shavasana for a few minutes here. So get into a comfortable position. Okay, after all that activity that our legs had to do for us, let's just focus on bringing our awareness back inside. So sit with your feet to the edges of your mat. Palms are up towards the sky. Close the eyes. And let's just do a few deep breaths together. Breathing normally here into the nostrils, out by the mouth. Keep the entire body relaxed. Keep the body completely immobile. And notice the only movement that is happening is from the belly. As we're breathing in, if you want to do a big belly breath, the diaphragm is going to lower, the belly is going to push out, and you gently exhale, the belly comes all the way back down. Start 
start to externalize our awareness. Let's bring some movement back into the fingertips and back into the toes. Let's bring some movement into the wrists and into the ankles. Let's reach the arms all the way overhead. Give ourselves a big body stretch, big inhale. Okay, and from there, bring both knees into your chest. Interlace the, the hands and the arms over top of your knees. Give yourselves a big hug. And keep the eyes closed if you want. Allow your knees to drop to the right or over towards the left side. And when you're ready, you can use your hands to help you back up into our seated position here, into our first asana, in easy pose or sukhasana. Place your hands to heart, big inhale, and big exhale. So much for joining the weekly yoga with Felix. I wish you all a wonderful day and a peaceful day. Namaste.